Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Welcome on in. <laughs> that was sleazy. Wasn't that sleazy? That was proper sleazy, that. That was like, oh, hi, I'm here to fix the uh, washing machine. <laughs> I'm going for the record of just how filthy I can be in under, like, two minutes. You know what I mean? No wonder I don't earn any money on YouTube. It's not a fucking shock, is it? So today we are looking at uh, pitch shifting, pitch whammy, pitch capo, pitcharama, whatever you want to call it. A uh, couple of things that tend to come up online quite a lot is, you know, the internet experts will tell you the words about artifacts. Uh, artifacts is a word that gets kind of thrown around quite a lot. Some people will say, you know, it's only good for single notes, which is a load of shit because I've used this live, I've used it in a studio setting for a very long time. Uh, I tend to go down a full step, um, which is round about my range anyway for whatever I'm involved in. Um, and no one has ever said the word, that doesn't sound real, I can hear artifacts. I think what happens is, is that some people will plug this in, not know how to set it properly, not know where to put it in the chain, and consequently then they will sit and pick holes in it a little bit, um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's the same type to go, well, why don't you just completely detune your guitar properly and use a fucking tube amp? And in my experience of being a sound man of 37 years, you know, that type. We'll just call them dickheads. Let's just call them dickheads. So, pitch whammy. Uh, in mono before the amp, uh, there are two snapshots for this. One's a half step down, one is a full step down. I am using the Strat again today. Uh, there's a video coming on Sunday featuring the Les Paul and the Strat combined for all of you, you know, Strat haters and Les Paul lovers. Uh, and then there's one switch which will turn the pitch whammy on and off. Yes, I could use the Poly Capo. Uh, I just, pref I just prefer the simple pitch. I just because I like it. All right. So our first one uh, is what you just heard in that demo. And the reason that I did that demo at the beginning was to just kind of get your attention a little bit rather than you know, then going, oh, maybe there is artifacts. There isn't. Uh, pitch Whammy, then there's the Deluxe Comp, and then there's the new amp from Line 6 called the Ventu, Ventoir, Vangina, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nothing much done there. I've just pulled the sag back a little bit. The hum and the ripple is off because I know a likey hum and ripple. Uh, Cali Graphic, I've took a little bit of the top off, but obviously you will shape it for you. Trinity Chorus, just to give it a little bit of life. And as you can tell, this is actually... This is a rhythm patch, this is not a lead patch. Glitz reverb, just because I like it. Uh, I've dropped the mix down to about 16% on there. And then just for that little enhancing boost on the end is the tile reverb. Those of you that are new here, the reason that I put the tile reverb on the end of most of these patches is on the fractal system, on the FM3 and then the FM9. And I think previous to that as well, there's a block in there called an enhancer. And this is kind of the same thing for me. That, that I kind of get the same results that I did when I had the, the fractal running. So what I'm going to have to do is, I will play that riff for you again, but I'm going to turn the mic off because, not because of the, um, you know, the, the, the chunky chunky bit. I'm not normally bothered about that, but I don't want you to hear the standard tuned guitar when I start playing the uh, the D tune. So let's take a listen to that again and then we'll go through half and full step and then back to standard. All right, let's do that. Oh, <laughs> 
All right, so that that's pretty much it. That's how I set it up. So obviously, uh, at the beginning, we have let's turn that back on. The pat, the pitch shifter is always at the front. I like it right at the very front. It's the very first thing that the guitar hits. It's not hitting the compressor and like dicking about with the sound and then hitting the pitch shifter. Uh, some people prefer the compressor right at the very front. That's okay. Again, there are no rules. Uh, it's just that to me, it's got to be first. You know, right right at the very first point of the. Uh, the effects chain, if you like, uh, and a mix at 100% if you're doing detune and stuff. If you just want a bit of a harmony thing going on, then obviously lower that and then you'll get a slightly different sound. Uh, hits the compressor, hits the amp, hits the EQ, hits the Trinity chorus, hits the glitter reverb and hits the tile on the end, all of which you can take away and just remove and do whatever it is that you want to do. So on Sunday, there's a new video coming, which uh, is a, it's actually a rhythm patch, which you could then alter to turn into a lead patch. It's a rhythm patch for switching between the Strat and the Les Paul, which again is just something that I'm involved in, which I don't really go into too much detail about what I'm doing outside of this little studio. Uh, and another video for next week as well is that some people have been asking about the setup that I've got and the room that I've got and what it is that I actually do here. So I'm going to do like a little bit of a mini tour um if you fancy it so let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing it and i'll tell you about the guitars and where they're from and what i was doing and blah 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 it'd be like five minutes of your life that you probably won't fucking get back so there you go all right as always thanks for watching the link is below for the patch uh hit the notification bell and i will see you soon for some more